Hey guys, welcome back. We're fighting Orin of the Water. My vitality is 15 and my attack power is 7. I'm fighting her before going to the Corrupt Monk or the Corrupted Monk. Uh, she's an optional boss, but we need her for a latent skill. So basically speak with her or just like attack her. We want to attack her because we want. We are just waiting for a certain move. Uh, we don't want her like normal attacks like this one here or where she just like jumps to you and hits you with like two moves and stops. We don't want this. Uh, we want uh, a certain move where she like swears around, goes back and then just comes to you this is what we're waiting for because we want her posture to increase and at the same time focus on your, on your own posture so this is the, what's it called now she'll perform an attack uh, where she's like swears around like she goes back and now she comes in she's just block 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 wait for her special move and jump on her try to not miss anything if you miss uh, what's it called the jump or like if you fail to do the jump or like and uh, she will stop doing the same thing but if you don't if you like uh, continuously like successfully do the same thing she will like keep doing uh, the same attack over and over and over until uh, her posture is filled and uh, you can like do the what's called uh, the death blow and just make sure by the way if you're like like now i, I was like i made a mistake because my posture was filled i didn't go like way back you don't have to like block all of her attack like sometimes like she's all the way back uh, so you, I mean by yourself, even if, though if you see her coming to you, just keep going to the back and just block her like last few attacks and you'll be able, you'll be like good to go. As you'll see, I'll show you later on. It's super simple, easy, simply like uh, do the, doing the same thing. You don't have to use any of the items or anything else. And uh, I didn't even like use the, what's called, uh, any health bar as you can see. I killed, like, I'm like finishing, uh, finishing off, off the, what's called, the boss without getting any hit so that's how simple this this boss is uh, I did, did it like to just show you guys like how simple the boss is you don't have to do it and as you can see even the second like round uh, she's gonna do the same thing again and again and again so don't worry uh, just keep doing the same thing and you're good to go we don't want these moves like I said but the simple moves like she's gonna slow down or just like just does one hit but if you get the opportunity attack her once but otherwise, just keep blocking and go back without holding the R1 because L1, sorry. If you, if you hold the L1, your posture meter will not decrease. So yeah, same thing. Block, jump on her, hit, and go back because like sometimes you're just gonna do one move. I was like too close to her at this time. As you can as you can see, my posture is like almost filled. Now I need to like run away, go back, go back, L leave her. You just need to like block her like last few attacks. You don't have to block block everything. You don't have to be close to her. But just make sure you like get to her before the final few hits and and that's it she's just gonna do the same thing like i said again and again and again as you can see i'm not hitting her that much i'm just like waiting for the, the posture meter to fill and yeah as simple as that uh the th good thing is like well, of course she's gonna give us the what's called the prayer bead and at the same time we're gonna get uh, a latent skill which is very important this latent skill will what's it called give you uh, some of the vitality back if you deal a uh, death blow so if you're like short on health uh, you're fighting enemies but if you give a death blow you get some of the health back so which is awesome basically and that's it guys thanks for watching and liking and commenting on our videos and stay awesome guys